Hello, I'm Brian Cowie with thepapermillstore.com and we are in Atlanta at the Howe Design Conference 2007. And I happen to be here with Rick Hontoon of National Envelope and uh, just talking to Rick about the, the Howe Show and what's going on at National uh, Envelope. Um, Rick, uh, you guys have uh, been in the envelope business for a long time. You're the largest privately owned uh, envelope company perhaps in the world. We're the largest in the world, period. Period. Well, that's good to know. And you guys have really taken uh, some very strong environmental initiatives. And uh, maybe you could just tell us a little bit about sure. that. I know that the design community is interested in thinking and designing green. Well, National Envelope is the absolute greenest envelope company on the face of the earth. Uh, we have more certifications and more environmental attributes to add to products than any other envelope company uh, literally on the face of the earth. We have FSC certified papers, SFI certified papers, Green Seal certified papers, Chlorine Free Products Association certified papers, as well as Green E Wind Power certified envelopes. In addition to that, what I really think is one of the most exciting things we have to offer is uh, biodegradable and compostable windows. We now have windows that instead of being made from plastic, that can actually be made from polylactic acid, which is made from corn. And that corn is completely I'm sure compostable. Every, I'm sure everyone here is going to understand polylactic acid. <laughs> but, anyway, but you know what's very it's made interesting? made from ethanol. So, so now, you, you just mentioned a couple of important initiatives. Okay. Um, FSC certification for a stewardship certification. Right. So in all your plants around the country, you, you're able to buy FSC certified papers, Correct. convert them, and maintain the chain of custody so that end users can uh, claim, make the claim that they're using F FSC certified fiber. But another interesting initiative that you've made me aware of, of your company is your, uh, your green or renewable energy uh, initiative. So, so you mentioned that now uh, a company can elect to have their envelopes made with uh, renewable energies. Is that wind power? What, wind tell power. us about that. Uh, any envelope, the national envelope makes in the country at our 21 facilities can be made with wind power. And in, ter in addition to being made just from wind power, all our green, all our wind power is certified, Green E certified wind power, and all the products are Green E certified, which means if you have a window envelope made by us, in addition to just having the envelope made, if you want to put an indicator on the back that tells your client that you're really making a sustainable envelope and you're trying to do something to help the environment, you can literally put the Green E logo on the back of the envelope that says, you know, this is a greeny envelope and basically the carbon footprint of this envelope is much lower because you're using a sustainable energy such as wind power. Yeah, you know, uh, you folks have something very interesting that right. you put together. Maybe we'll show this a little bit later in the, in the interview. But uh, now this is a product portfolio and this helps a designer understand how they can use uh, the various green logos, be it FSC, be it greeny energy. Right. And when graphic designers are doing this, uh, it, it's my understanding that they're really adding value to their client's message mm -hmm. uh, by taking a green position and shouting about it, exactly. more or less. So there's a lot of information in this. Let me, let me just point out one thing in this that, that's really, sure. really important. When one of your clients decides to do something good for the environment, it's, they don't want to keep it a secret. Okay? What they want to do is make sure that the person who gets that envelope understands that they've added green attributes to that envelope as part of their sustainability policy. So each of the programs that we offer the customer has a logo that's attached to it or associated with it. So whenever you do a biodegradable or a compostable envelope or a greedy envelope or an FSC slash Rainforest Alliance certified envelope, you can take these logos and we can put them on the envelope and basically, again, most companies Maybe doing it for doing, maybe putting these things into their envelope, maybe to do the right thing. But in most cases, corporations and businesses want to send a message to their constituents that they're green. And the way you do that when you add, add an attribute for, to the envelope is through the logo system here. So that's something when you get this brochure that you want to gonna, you're going to want to check out. One other thing I really want to add that's really important. Yeah, please do. And I've just kind of learned this over the last couple of days working with some of the people at the Rainforest Alliance. Most people think that environmental groups are trying to keep people from cutting down trees using wood. And actually, that nothing could be further from the truth. Basically, what these certification programs such as FSC and SFI are doing is they're trying to help people who own forests 
manage them well and keep them profitable because the minute a forest becomes unprofitable with 65 percent of the private or of the forest lands in this country being owned by private individuals what happens when that land becomes unprofitable is it just doesn't lay as a fallow forest what they'll do is they sell their land because they need to get the money out of it to support their family sure and they cut down the, the people who buy it aren't buying it to manage the forest they're buying it to, to put in housing developments they're buying it to put in shopping centers they're buying it to build golf courses so by using certified wood products or certified papers, you're really helping forest owners earn a living. And that in turn helps the forest perpetuate itself because the guy that owns it can actually make a profit. And that's really important to continue to use these products and not to shy away from using paper. Actually, by using more FSC paper and SFI paper, you're probably helping the environment more than you're hurting it. That's, that's a very interesting and, and strong point. And National Envelope, um, really has been at the cutting edge of, of changing the dialogue, I think, between manufacturers and various green organizations. Absolutely. Taking them from being an adversarial relationship to really being a, a partnership and saying, hey, how can, how can we work together? It's true. Now, we work, well, just to let you know, we, uh, we've worked with, a, with the uh, Rainforest Alliance, we've worked with Forest Ethics, uh, we're, we've worked with World Wildlife Fund. These groups are very acceptable to having people in our industry work with them to help develop standards and help develop standards within your own product line that help the environment. And they'll actually come in with, to almost any company if you're interested and sit down and work with you and set, up, and set up a list of standards and a list of goals that help you become a more sustainable company and use more sustainable products. Again, that's, a, that's an interesting point. So, uh, there are some pretty interesting things about uh, National Envelope. And uh, if a designer, whether they're a small designer or a large designer, wants to use some of these great envelopes, it's our understanding that uh, you have a nationwide uh, paper merchant network that can be contacted in, in wherever your uh, town or locale is. Uh, and you also can buy these products on the papermillstore.com. That's correct. And uh, so, it's, so it's pretty easy. Whether you want a box of envelopes or you need a truckload of envelopes, uh, National Envelope is uh, really a great source for that. Well, Rick, I'd like to thank you very much. This was well, very helpful information. And uh, have a great show. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. You too.